All right, so SNK just kind of casually dropped on a Twitter. The Japanese one that, hey, by the way, we're in collaboration with Arika and we're going to have them help us revitalize and revamp a lot of our old titles and bring those back. Anyway, bye. So, yes, as I just mentioned, SNK made an announcement on their Twitter that they are in collaboration with Arika, another gaming studio slash company to bring back a lot of their old IPs, revamp them, revitalize them, whatever term you want to use. Basically, they're saying, hey, we didn't forget we have games other than KOF. So let's how about we, you know, dig in our pockets, dig in that bag of giant catalog of games for the Neo Geo and bring those back. They made a statement. I'll link it in the description, but I'm going to read just the important part of the excerpt. It says, quote, the company owns over 200 SNK branded game contents, SNK referring to themselves, including Neo Geo, and is currently promoting revamping to revive and uh, revitalize past IPs. Uh, I used the Google Translate thing, so they said revive twice, but I'm pretty sure they meant revitalize. As part of this effort, we have decided to collaborate with Arika, which has excellent game development capabilities and is familiar with our IP. The collaboration is planned for IPs other than fighting games. We will provide further details in the future, so please look forward to further updates." End quote. Now, let's just take a moment and just understand what's happening. SNK has just announced, essentially, mind you, this was March 12th, Japan time. That they were in collaboration with Arika to help bring back a lot of their old games, games that aren't even fighting games. And they have a giant catalog of games that they could pull from, such as uh, the Akari Warriors, for those you don't know, Clark and Ralph from the Kill Up series. That is their game. That is where they came from in 1986. It was released in arcades and uh, for the Neo Geo. And that is the game that they hailed from, uh, I think. In like another version, it was like Leona something something. Uh, she was introduced in that version as well. And yeah, so a lot of these KOF characters had their own games at some point, or at least a couple of them did. Speaking of which, Athena, she had her own game, a platformer released in 1986. Uh, the Psycho Soldier we all know and love, as well as Metal Slug, the classic, released in 96. Uh, we, as we all know, it's a run and gun game, but there was also another game called Twinkle Star Sprites. I didn't know about this game, but I, I've seen the image before, but I didn't know it was SNK related, but it's a 1996 competitive scrolling shooter originally released in arcades for the Neo Geo. But there's plenty of more games. There's like a giant list that I saw. And it's like the, the, the number of games that they could pull from to revamp for a new age, for a newer generation. It's insane. What like the bag that they have. SNK has a lot of games that aren't even fighting game related. If we're talking about fighting games, that's a whole other video, but that's not what we're here for today. Now, many of you are wondering, okay, that's cool, but who's Arika? Because some of you may not know. I'm going to give you a quick rundown, just real quick. Basically, they were formed in 1995 from former Capcom uh, employees. They've made uh, the Street Fighter EX games in conjunction with Capcom. You may have seen those before. They were like the three-dimensional looking Street Fighter characters. They also had their own fighting game called Fighting EX uh, that came out, uh, sorry, Fighting Lair that came out back in the day as well in the 90s. And then the newest iteration of that was Fighting EX Lair in 2018. But more recently, they have had a hand helping Bandai with Tekken 7, fixing bugs, online infrastructure and whatnot in software, as well as Tekken 8. Yes, Tekken 8. Arika has helped with that and been helping them with the development of that as far as helping with the online and perhaps other things as well. Now, my perspective on this, I am so happy that SNK has taken the steps necessary to really flex their gaming muscles, to really go all out as they have stated numerous times over interviews for the past year and some change that they wanted to be a top 10 gaming company, game developer, they wanted to make AAA games and this, that, and the third. They wanted to bring back a lot of IPs and revitalize not just those IPs, but KOL also. This is what you do. You get people, you get other companies, you get some type of partnership with some people that know how to work your games, how to fix infrastructure, how to bring it into the new age. And Arika clearly knows how to do that considering their help that they've been giving the Bandai with Tekken 7 and now Tekken 8. 
So this is good. I'm glad SNK is not being hard headed and actually looking to seek help doing this. This is great. For those who don't know, I'm a big SNK fan. So I ain't, I'm happy about this. Okay. Now, now, even though it said other than fighting games, we all know what we're thinking. Okay. What does this mean as far as the fighting game side for SNK? Perhaps this could mean that Arika is secretly perhaps helping them with the development of City of the Wolves, maybe helping with the online lobbies or even things like that, maybe fixing bugs. Who knows? We really don't know too much about City of the Wolves. All we've gotten from the past year and a half to two years is post images and last EVO where you finally got actual movement gameplay kind of sort of i don't know how to we yeah we'll we'll call it gameplay we'll call it sneak peek gameplay we'll just call it that but we haven't seen much but i feel like that's gonna change this weekend at the time of this video it is the 14th today is a thursday is it a thursday today is a thursday okay the swc snk world championship is this weekend in hollywood all right a lot of people have flown over there shout out to rome himself the big homie He's gonna be commentating, shout out to him, happy for him. And I feel like we may see something there. That would be a big opportunity for SDK to show off City of the Wolves. But back to the main topic, I do feel like as far as fighting game side go, that there's no way they wouldn't also help them with that. So again, nothing concrete, this is just speculation, but if they're helping them with the non-fighting game stuff, you have to wonder and you have to think that they may also have a hand in helping with the fighting game side as well city of the wolves as well as many you know they got other fighting games as well that they need they could pull out you know kof we don't know if that's done yet we don't know if we can get another season they could probably help with that help with the online improve that you know never hurts to improve that some more as well as other fighting games that they have in their catalog but for me again i am just happy that snk is partnering with another company and getting out there and seeking help to help further their brand and revitalize and maybe finally bring themselves into the new age and actually be maybe not a big contender against Capcom, but at least more recognizable. Because I feel like the biggest issue that SNK has is the recognizability uh, outside of Asia. Over in the West, yeah, there's people that may be aware of SNK, but for the most part, they kind of recognize the characters more so than the brand itself. And that's more so due to Terry being in Smash and also CBS too. So take that as you will. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you think down below. Are you happy about the news? Uh, are you surprised at this? Cause I'm surprised just to see it on Twitter. I'm seeing it on the Japanese tweets on their profile page, but not on the English side. And I was like, I thought it was fake. And then I see it's like, oh, it's real. But yeah, comment down below what you think. Do you think maybe down the line we may get some DLC characters from the Fighting EX Layer uh, games? Get some crossover going on, you know? You never know. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all be easy. Appreciate y'all. Peace.